thanks for joining us, Zeebs. First of all, how have you found your first year of coaching? Yeah, I've loved it. Um, it's gone so quick this year. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the job or um, I think it's gone quick for everyone, to be fair. But um, I've loved every minute of being a coach so far. Um, I've had some unbelievable people here at Richmond, especially coaches to learn off. We've got a really senior coaching group at the moment to be able to um, draw on their expertise and, and help educate our players. Um, and we've got a great bunch of boys as players at the moment to work with as well. So um, there's been some challenges, there's no doubt about that, but it's all stuff I've really enjoyed so far. It's been fantastic. Do you have any key learnings transitioning from being a player to a coach? Yeah, there's plenty of key learnings um, transitioning from uh, a player to coach. I think the main one is just not to forget how hard the game is. Um, asking players to do specific things week in, week out and an understanding of how hard those um, tasks are, coupled by how hard the game is in the modern day, um, is something that I definitely haven't forgotten and understanding um, sitting on level two uh, can be quite easy compared to, to being out there in the thick of the action. So uh, understanding um, the diff difficulty of the task that the players are, are, are uh, dealing with um, in every moment um, is something that we definitely take into consideration with our coaching. Injuries this season have created a fair bit of turnover through the middle. Has it been challenging to play consistent footy with so many players rolling through? Yeah, the injuries have, uh, have uh, made it a little bit of a challenge um, across the whole ground, but in the midfield especially, um, just with lacking probably a little bit of synergy um, with our mids. But what it has provided is really exciting opportunities for a lot of guys who probably haven't had um, too many opportunities at playing consistently in, at AFL level for, for probably the last few years. And um, I think of guys along the lines of um, Kay McAuliffe in his first year has had exposure to, to, to senior AFL footing, shown his capability. And Thompson Dow um, has also strung together quite a few games in the first half of the season and, and shown the qualities he's got. Um, we've got guys who have been in and out of the team with injury, um, like obviously Timmy Tirano is a, is a mainstay in there, but missing him for, for a six or eight week period um, allowed opportunity for other guys to get some, some time up there as well. And guys like Tyler Sonzi and obviously Shea's been a bit more time in the midfield this year, which has been exciting for all the Tiger fans. So we've had a bit of a rollover, but it has provided us with plenty of opportunity, which has been exciting um, to see what these young guys can bring. As stoppage coach, it must be a welcome sight to have seen the return of Taranto, Hopper and Prestia to bolster our experience in the centre. Absolutely. These, uh, these guys you speak of, in, in, in Timmy Taranto and, and, and Hop and, and Dion as well, um, who have missed for large chunks of this year, is they provide us with a wealth of experience um, around the stoppages and around the contest. And um, when they have come back in, you've seen a level um, of organisation and, and calmness around the contest um, that we probably missed at times throughout the year. But again, in that... Um, same conversation is that level of opportunity for our young guys to learn um, but it's great to be able to learn off these guys with them out there um, so I think we can get that balance right for the back half of the year it's going to be very exciting to see where we can go in, um, in the future. Toby Nankervis again was dominant on the weekend as captain how influential is he for those younger players? Yeah Toby's having a fantastic year um, he's backing up his individual performances week, uh, week in week out um, and he's, he's having a really big influence um, around not only the contests, but on the games and, and on his teammates as well. Um, as you said, he's captain of our football club and um, it's a pretty inspirational role to hold when you play the game like Toby does. He's, he's very combative, um, he provides a really strong contest and that is very consistent. Um, and I think the main thing is that he just provides 100% effort 100% of the time. Um, that's something that, that he should be really proud of and, and a lot of these young guys are looking up to um, and trying to emulate, which is really exciting for our club. And there's still plenty to gain from season 2024. What can Tiger fans look forward to between now and the end of the year? Oh, there's plenty to, to, to play for in 2024 and um, we're looking to see improvement in all areas of our game. Um, but I think it's important that we hit the line in the back half of this season to really set ourselves up um, for the pre-season and for next year. And, and I think uh, in all of our phases of our game, in our, in our, around our contests and stoppage, around offence and around defence, we're looking for upticks in all those areas to really finish the year strong. Um, and, and continue to, to rehearse the way we want to play because we believe that that way is going to take us um, really well and it's going to hold us really well into the future. Thanks for your time, Zeebs. No worries, thank you.